Hello, I'm so glad to meet you all today for another finance tutorial video. Yeah, long time no see, I know. By the way, my friend Kimberly is graduating for her MBA in finance. Yay! Kimberly, if you are listening to me right now, the universe is proud of you. Congratulations! Anyway, last time we saw the cash flow from financing activities, okay? Recall the rule. Debt minus equity equal to financing income. Sweet. Last time we saw the term equity. Today we will see the debt. So what is a debt? A debt is an amount of money that companies borrow with the promise to pay back in the future with interest of course. There is no free lunch, sweetie. So, yeah. Note that debt securities may either be short terms or long terms, depending on what your firm needs. Okay. Example of short term debt securities are money market securities. The maturity of the maturity or the due dates are generally or are within one year. That means one year or less. Examples of money market securities are treasury bills, commercial paper, commercial paper repurchase agreements. Okay, we will go over this term in another video. All right, now the long term debt securities are bond markets. Bond, bonds market or bonds mature from 10 to 30 years okay and they are issued by government agencies or corporation oh i almost forget money market debt securities the short-term debt are issued by treasury corporation and financial intermediaries okay people now let's not get be confused by the term issued here i explain when a corporation for example, is in need of funds, it issued what, what we call a security debt available for whoever having a surplus of funds and wants to invest it somewhere, okay? Of course, the investor will have to meet some requirements depending on the kind of debt securities we, he would like to purchase okay among all know that the most important criteria is to show financial ability to repay the debt along with interest okay with the interest fees i told you there is no free lunch in life so yes another point is that we are not talking about loans here okay loans can be part of the operation activities with account payable and not payable but rather we are talking about debt securities okay how that it does make sense loans are just loans you go to a financial institution you ask to borrow if you meet the requirement they will give you the loan that you need okay they will not give you a headache to provide the money that you need because it's part of their our role okay a debt security though is a transfer of funds from public from the public to the public and when i say public the public includes individuals corporations individuals corporation and governments okay all these people are participants of the debt securities the debt securities market acting as either lenders or borrowers okay so these people in contrast of your financial institution are, com are not committed to give you a loan they only do it if the return is good compared to the risk affiliated to investing in your project okay so to summarize we have proceed from long term Proceed from long debt sales. Proceed from new stock issue. Dividends, purchase of stock. All these are equal to the total cash flow from financing activities. And remember that this is a very simplified format. Okay, now why is there? Now why is there a plus sign in front of the terms? Simple. 
you have invested your money in the debt securities you will harvest the fruit of your effort soon okay your cop your company has recently issued stocks to the public money is coming in in flow of cash okay guys we saw the issuance of new shares what the issuance of new shares was last time so stop giving me attitude and go back to the recent previous video learn the term okay all right now my dear auditor auditor now my dear auditors this is the end of the cash flow from financing activities and the end of the statement of cash flow okay over the next week though I'm going to turn to my French audience because I value fairness. All right. So until then, see you all and have a good day.